Of course, Green Bay Gamblers have Wiener Dog races coming up here on Saturday, February 4th. It's a Bud Night, $2 Bud and Bud Light products. It's a, also a Sundrop Skate for Gamblers, so bring your skates with you. Game time starts at 7.05. 28 Wiener Dogs will be racing during the first intermission. Then six DJs are going to be uh, playing some knocker ball soccer out in the second intermission to try to raise $1,000 for their charity. But moving forward here in our program, we're happy to have Alexis Binner and Roy Herman in studio tonight. Boys, how you doing? Welcome back. This is your uh, second time around, and I, I feel like um, I'm playing favorites because I think there's guys on the team that haven't been on the show yet, so welcome back. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Thank Hi. you. <laughs> We're going to get to know you here a little bit. Yeah, yeah let's, You let's guys get obviously to know you, seem a little, uh, a little tight up here, but uh, let's start with, um, we got a bunch of questions here. Yeah, see, they're not uptight. They're just, they're relaxed. We got to break them We're in a little tight. bit. We're uptight, and you guys are just like, yeah. Yeah, so uh, hey, By let's... the way, first, before we get into our either or, yeah. congratulations on a heck of a weekend, by the way. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate but it. But the, uh, the Bobcat jersey, I wanted you guys to keep those jerseys because I felt like if we use those along the way, I'm a big time superstitious guy. Mm -hmm. So I felt like we woke in some of the Bobcat tradition yeah. this past weekend. And, uh, it's good to have, uh, to have the a 7 nothing side. win over Madison. is. uh it's just so much, so much fun. I love it. <laughs> uh, so anyway, let's play it, right, Kyle? Let's play a little either or. Let's with do boys, it. And let's uh, get to know some of our gambler players. So it's a very simple either or. It's so um, I'm going to get right into it. And we'll start with Rory first. Chocolate or vanilla? Vanilla. Alexis? Chocolate. Already, are you guys roommates or no? Yes, yes. we are. Oh, already the opposite. Yeah, <laughs> Opposites attract, I guess. Early birds or night owls? Early bird. Night owl. See, I'm an early bird too. I like to wake up in the morning, get some coffee, and just it's quiet in the morning, right, Rory? Or I like getting it? up early. Do you stay up late too then, or? Uh, occasionally, but usually try to get to sleep early. Are we, are we already? Are we going to hold you past your bedtime today? <laughs> no, no. Okay, not that early. <laughs> um, I got one here, not so much in either go. or, but I'm going to ask you, what is your uh, proudest accomplishment, either in hockey or just growing up so far? What is one thing you uh, like to hang your hat on right now? You start this one. That's a tough one, but um, probably one of them might be the making the gamblers. Uh, pretty proud moment, you know. I used to use a great league to play in, and uh, just, a, just an honor to play. Is this your first gambler. This is your first big league you've ever played uh, Yeah, in? pretty much, yep. I thought it was going to be being on this show. I, I mean, that's what he was That's meaning. like, if that's you like want to say the right level. answer, it's maybe a little bit of, like, below, but it's, <laughs> uh, it's pretty close. It's pretty close. Made the gamblers, but also being a second. There's a one time, and then a 1A. Second yep. time co host mm -hmm. on this show, on this program. Uh, Rory? Rory? Rory didn't uh, get an answer yet. I think the same, making the gamblers. It's a great league, and. I'm just honored to be here, so I'm happy with that. And you know, second time on the show. I think we're veterans now on the show. <laughs> you guys are big fans. You know, we may be rookies on the team. Let's be honest. The first time you were on the show, you were veterans. So. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> Let's go here. Uh, dancing or singing? As or. If I'm singing, I'm dancing. So both. <laughs> oh, it comes with. Okay. That's true, but I'm more a dance guy. I think I don't. A little tone deaf. <laughs> I thought you were going to sing the national anthem sooner or later, Alexis, for the... The Swedish one or the... Well, you came out when we were doing the national anthem, right? Was that... Maybe not. I don't think that was me. I think you're mixing up the guys. I mean, if you need someone to sing the anthem, I'm sure you'll, <laughs> I'm sure you'll do just <laughs> fine. <laughs> Um, oh, have you yes, oh, yes, I remember now. Yes, I remember yes. now. That's my bad. Okay. That's my bad. Yeah, I, I got him. I got him. I appreciate that. You Sorry. could have just thrown me under the bus there. <laughs> that's, that's being a. I good totally person. forgot, but I, I remember now. Um, have you guys ever had any, I guess, nicknames a suitable for radio, but for B, what is uh, what is the most memorable nickname you've ever had? I guess one that you like or dislike or anything along that line. I mean, my real name's Robert, 
but I go by Rory. I so like that. This that's technically always a nickname. confuses me, and I apologize every time I talk to Rory <laughs> Robert over the <laughs> I've, I've got it every a lot. Time, every time so. I've talked to you, I'm like, please tell me, is it Rory or Robert? Like, yeah. I, d I don't want to offend you at all. No, no, like, it's, it's, it's not fun. like, uh, I've been getting my entire life, you know, every year you walk into new classes and every single teacher says Robert for attendance, and I have to go, oh, I'll call me Rory, so, I mean, it's not something that it doesn't really bother me because it's been happening, but, uh, you know, I think I'm, I like Rory a little bit better. What if, what if they went with Bob? Bob's, Bob's a logo. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't Let's think I'm a that. Bob. Like, Let's uh, cut that it's one a out. strong name, but I'm not a Bob guy. Chinese food or Italian food? <sighs> Italian, easy. Yeah, I'll go Italian too. Yep. I'm a pasta better. guy myself. Nothing better than Italian. Um, spring or fall, winter or summer? Summer. Summer. <laughs> summer, summer 100%. Fan, right? That's a good time. Can you play can hockey fishing? in the summer, though? Yeah, you can. Fishing, little wakeboarding, skiing, indoors. <laughs> little beach you guys time. fishermen? Or? He's a big fish guy, no? I, I, uh, I get into fishing. I've done a little bit of everything. Fly fishing from... Uh, deep sea fishing? Deep sea fishing, yeah. I've done that. So, not deep sea. I mean, I live, I live right Lake, on the Lake, ocean. Lake Michigan? So. That's Wisconsin for deep that, sea. That's yeah. deep sea fishing yeah. there. Like Michigan. Michigan. <laughs> put it into perspective. No, we get fortunate with uh, some good deep sea fishing back home. That's good. Um, I got one here. Um, I might right. get you in trouble. What's the longest you've ever gone without sleep and why? Ooh. You go first. I usually never like stay like I I like sleeping so, um, I think maybe like twenty four hours might be the max. Not even to be just honest with you. Just a random. Just like just a random one. Like I don't know. I felt really bad after. I gotta admit it, but uh, that's probably the longest I've gone. I've only learned it once. Couldn't do that anymore. How about you, Robert? I've I've probably hit close to forty eight. Really? Two days. Yeah. Uh, I've had a couple rough travel days where. You know, I'll be by myself traveling, and I'll be coming home, and there's sometimes where I get stuck and somewhere, and you know I don't get to stay in a hotel or yeah. something, so I'm just kind of sitting there waiting for things to do. And yeah, I remember one time last year I got caught, and I was like, yeah, I've been up way too long. It's been like two days. I need some sleep. <laughs> All right, I gotta end with one more because we're running out of time. This is the most important: honey mustard or barbecue sauce. I don't really like honey mustard or barbecue sauce. To be <gasps> honest. It, it depends, like, you know, I'm not just going to, you know, eat it, eat no, it plain. I feel you. What are, we, what are we putting it on? Chicken? Pork? Well, I mean pork, right? Pork? pork I'll, put, I'll, put, I'll put barbecue sauce, sauce, sauce on it. Um, you put ranch on anything. Are you guys though, right? mustard uh, on no. fries, guys? Or I hate on mustard. Fries? I hate I don't mustard, like ketchup. whatever it is. I don't like ketchup or mustard. Too just ketchup and barbecue. Fries, no fries either? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I like ranch. Like, I'm not a huge ranch guy. But ranch I definitely is uh, ranch I mean, is a go. Ranch is pretty right? good. Yeah. Ranch is a go. But it's got to be like a, a creamy ranch. It can't be like a thick, you know. Really? See, I'm a ranch. thick ranch guy. That's yeah. deep, Rory. That's deep. Yeah, I, I'm picking he's a, a thick, thick ranch kind of guy. No, oh, I am. He's not. Oh, you're not. <coughs> I, I'm. He's. I'm he's thin. Picky though. He's picky. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say. You, Only with kinda, sauces. You're turning into like a foodie here. You know. Only with sauces. I'm getting hungry. You better move on. I mean. Well, guys, appreciate you being on. Of course, a uh, heck of a past two games here at home. Go get them this weekend, and uh, thanks once again for being veterans on this show. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate no it. Thanks for having us. It's Alexis Binner and Rory Herman, and we got to step up for a break. We're going to try Lynn Marie one more time from Fox News Credit Union. That's coming up here on Hockey Talk and WNFL.